Alright, what is up you guys? I'm back. You'll notice I'm in a little bit of a different location this time. We're still in my room, but we had to shift because me and her both couldn't fit over at my makeup table. That's over there. Um, so you'll notice I have a guest with me. This is my little sister. This is Sydney. Um, if you look way back in like the original like videos that I made, there's a video that I posted of me and her of me doing her makeup. So what we're doing is I have Birchbox. Everybody knows this. I do my Birchbox unboxings every month. Sydney just subscribed to Ipsy, so she has an Ipsy bag. So let's show the people. So this is this is mine this month. This is the September Birch Box, and it's Birch Boxes. I believe it's our sixth birthday, so that's why it looks like confetti. And then Sydney has the Ipsy uh, September 2016 glam bag. Okay, and it's supposed to spell out Ipsy with the girls. Now I had Ipsy at one time. Those are some, there's some videos on my channel of me having Ipsy as well, so if you want to check those out, you'll see. I'm keeping my opinions for this video to myself of Ipsy. Um, we'll get to that later. So, in my box, I have not looked in mine. Sydney's looked in hers, but I haven't looked in mine. So, we're going to see what's in my box this month. As always, we have the card, same as always. Um, and we have the list of products on the back and tells me how much each product is. Um, on this card it says, now that fall is around the corner, we're jumping into multitasking mode and celebrating the versatile, time-saving products that, that help us juggle everything on our to-do list because at the end of the day, beauty should make our lives easier and add a dash of fun. Another, th another thing we're celebrating, you. This month marks six years of Birchbox and our hearts are bursting. I was right, six years. Um, thanks for being a part of our ever more amazing community. Cheers to you and getting stuff done. XOXO Birchbox. And then we have the list of products on the back. I'm not going to look at that yet. So Cindy's going to read the card that came with her Ipsy bag. Real talk. We're through with Lazy Beauty. Put away your sweatpants, let down your ponytail, and get glammed up just for the hell of it. Third coat of mascara. Check. Five extra minutes to conquer the perfect cat eye. Double check. Hey. Getting busy with skincare before bedtime. You know it. That's it. That's it. I do like, I will say, right off the bat, I do like Ipsy's cards more than Birchbox's. I think Birchbox could put a little bit... Aw, oh, go get it. I think Birchbox could put a little bit more effort into their cards. They look the same all the time. Um, I do like theirs a little bit more. And on the front of hers, it says Ipsy Glamazon. And um, too one glam to give a damn. too glam to give a damn is what the front of that one says. I've never cussed on my channel before. I was the first to do it. You were. Anyway, so now in my box, the first thing I see that jumps out at me, we actually have this perfume at work, and I've smelled it several times. I don't know why it's in a September box because it's more. It's fall now. Like it's to me, this is fall. So um, this is more of like a summertime scent to me, so it's kind of bizarre that they put this in a September box. But this is Escada. I'm not even gonna try something Del Zol. Del Zol. I don't. I. I. You guys know I can't pronounce crap. I try. <laughs> this is the perfume. I know we have this at work. I feel like it has like a coconut scent to it. So let's see. Yeah, it literally smells like coconuts and sunscreen to me. Mm. So, summery. it's very summery, and I feel like this is Birchbox's last ditch effort to try to hang on to summer. Honestly, I don't like summer. <laughs> I don't. I like fall. I like boots. I like pumpkin spice lattes. I like being basic. I mm. just... Mm. Just don't like it. Anyway, I'm gonna read on the card what it says about the Escada perfume. Um, so, Escada, I'm not gonna pronounce the full name. Um, the, the full so size... Good. Toilet. Yes. Right. Oh, oh, have you ever heard that? Oh, do toilet. It's a thing. What does that mean? I don't know what it means. If you know what that means, if you speak French, <laughs> comment because we're that uncon uncultured swine. I don't. Anyway, um, the full size of this bottle is between forty-eight to seventy-nine dollars, which is real expensive. Uh, um, each spritz of this warm, bright scent features mandarin, apricot, nectar, and sandalwood. This reminiscent of a tropical that's reminiscent of a tropical vacation so see no that's coconut. no coconut but I smelled coconut so that's strange but um very reminiscent of summer I like it's not it doesn't smell bad don't get me wrong it smells good but still it's like yeah I'm over summer okay your turn okay 
It's a chapstick and lip balm, a Sweet Lips Organic Honey Lip Balm. Made in the USA. What's it smell like? Yours doesn't tell you what your products, does it? Mm. Um, so, Birchbox, that's one thing for Birchbox. Our, the the card does tell you. Honey. Honey, like honey, but, but on the on the Ipsy app it tells you. Oh, it. okay. It tells so you. well, I, we have an app. So Ipsy has an app. Yeah. Birchbox has an app. Um, they both tell like what the product is online. Do you so, get points for reviewing it? Yeah, you. Well, I don't know if you get points, but you can review it. And so I knew what my product, my stuff was before I even got it because I got on the app. I try really hard not to look. and looked at it. <laughs> um, okay, so but I have it on right now. I put it on a second. Ago. You like it? It was pretty good. Good for like. Fall when it starts getting colder, check lips come in play. Mm-hmm. I'm smelling. I have to smell things. Not just smell, but I can't smell. But I mean, can't really smell. It smells like a honey mask that we have at work. Yeah, I feel like I've used something that smells. Good. I mean, I like things that are really natural. So that's cool. I like that. I remember one of my Ipsy bags. I also got a chapstick that I actually still have. I still use it every once in a while. All right. So the next thing in my box that I see is this little jar, and it's from Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub, and it's an all natural scrub. It's vegan. Ooh, it smells really good. Doesn't smell bad at all. So, I'll show you all of that. It's kind of hard to see with both of us still in the picture. But um, my card, it says the Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub, the full size of $32.50. That's not, I guess it's not that bad, depending on how big. I mean, is. yeah. The sample here is half an ounce. Is that right? That was bigger. It, it does look bigger. Um, but this says this Dead Sea Salt Scrub mimics the effects of a microdermabrasion for clear, radiant, and in under three minutes. So that's cool. I do. I've had the Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion scrub before, and I actually really do like that. It where I have acne scars around my mouth, it really helps to lighten those up. So. I like this. So, Cindy's gonna go next. What do you have? I have the Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. Shut up! No, okay. Um, Luster Lux here on YouTube. She's been talking about how awesome this stuff is. Okay, well, I needed some mascara. I've been using the old samples. So, <laughs> It Cosmetics is a really popular brand. Um, we don't have it oh, in Sephora. It, it Cosmetics. But we have, um, like, they have it in Ulta. Yeah, I was about to say, so it's an Ulta. It is an Ulta. Because people will come in all the works. You're like, where are your It Cosmetics? It's not here. Let's go to Ulta. Um, no, Katie, um, Lester Lux on YouTube, she has been raving non-stop about that. So, I'm gonna need to try that. Just bought some mascara. What'd you buy? I don't know, some cheapo thing. Like three dollars. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna steal that at some point. I actually like that better than my thing. <laughs> anyway, so the next thing I have in mind that I'm gonna grab is the actually only makeup related thing that's in my box, which is kind of a bummer because usually I feel like I get a little bit more makeup related things in my box. Um, but this I actually knew I was getting this because Birch Box, you get to pick one sample in your box. Like they give you a list of things that you can pick from, and you can pick one of them, and they will go in your box. So I already knew I was getting this. What now? The rest. the rest is a surprise. Well, if you want it to be a surprise, you can you can open up the app too and see what you're getting. I just I refrained. Um, I'm not that strong. But I can be. There have been times. I, I I do it every once in a while. So this is the milk makeup highlighter stick. So it's kind of like that um the Tyra Banks thing that I gave yeah, you. I still have that. So where it at though? It's right there, I think. It just looks wet. Hold on just a second. Do you see that? That reflect? Because my flashlight is what's that light. Do you see that? It, or excuse all the rest of the crap that you see on my hand. I just got out of I just got back from work. But that's that's it. Are we gonna have a highlight off? You have a highlighter too? <laughs> Shut up! Alright, so Cindy got a highlighter too, so we're gonna do this at the same time. Mine's much better. Hers is much better. Much more let me see that. What brand is that? Oh, I have this. Tresque. I remember Help me. Lean forward. And just kind of move your hand. You see that? Go that way. Yeah. Do y'all see that? Kind of like the shimmer? I'm back. Okay. Am I not doing that? That, the shimmer right there, that's hers. Hers is Good. much more pigmented than mine. Um, back when I had Ipsy, I did get a item. I think 
Tresque and Ipsy are like. That's how you say it. I don't know. Tresque, I, I would say. Tresque? Somebody pr correct me, please. I don't know. <laughs> but I will say I like her highlighter better than mine. I would probably put this on on a no makeup day. Just like if I'm going to the gym, like when I get leave the gym. After I after I leave the gym, I'm not yeah, gonna, I like to go to the gym. Listen, I used to wear full face to go to the gym. What's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we went my, to the gym this morning. We did together. Yes, we did. We did. She was like running on the treadmill. I'm sitting over here like, bitch, no, <laughs> I can't do that. I'm sorry, it's too much for me. I can't run. So I was literally just doing squats 90% of the time. So this right here, this is the Milk Makeup Highlighter. Um, the full size of this is $24. Um, sweep on this flattering highlighter wherever you need a subtle dewy, sh there we go, a subtle dewy sheen and a boost of hydration from mango butter, peach nectar, and avocado oils. They're all about nectars this time, ain't they? We have a, uh, we have a peach nectar, an apricot nectar, all kinds of nectars going on. If Yours is like, it. yeah, hold that up, here. So there's the both of ours. You can still see her. You can't even see mine. That's a disappointment. See, I had the choice between the highlighter, a lip stain, and a mascara. I should have done the lip stain. I should have done the lip stain. Done the lip stain. I love highlighters though. Should have got mine. Anyway, okay, we're gonna go next. Since you, since Cindy already did hers, uh, I'm gonna jump to my next one. So this is the next thing I see in here, and this is the chlorine. Waterproof. I thought you were trying to say chlorine. <laughs> oh God, is this chlorine? No. Birch box, don't be making me put chlorine on my face. <laughs> it's not. Um, waterproof eye makeup remover with soothing corn flour and it strengthens eyelashes. I need that. Do y'all have any idea? I wear so many false lashes that my eyelashes are constantly falling out. So this is good. I like this. Um, I want lash extensions. That is two hundred. Let's see. Ugh. Just get fake ones. It's so much easier. Yeah. Anyway, um, makeup remover. The full size of this one. I should probably show it to y'all. There it is. Uh, the full size of this is sixteen dollars. That's the cheapest thing in this box. Um, this powerful eye makeup remover gently sweeps away even the toughest formulas, including the waterproof kind, with French corn flour that softens skin while reducing inflammation. I hate it when you go Get to take red. something off, yeah, and you're you just feel like you cannot use enough like color corrector to make the redness go away. So I, I really do like this. So she has another product. Okay. Um bro mm, I'm not gonna try Brio Geo. I had got this in one of my birch boxes. I, think so. I remember seeing that. I think. Don't despair. Repair. Deep conditioning mask with no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. I think I got rid of this one. Cause Why? Because I, I didn't know if it was for my hands or if it was for my hair. It says, don't despair. Repair contains a unique blend of avocado, sweet almond, and argan oils. And hair essential vitamins. Oh, it's for your hair. That would hair essential vitamins. See, I didn't read You're that. Back. I didn't read Did that. Did you try to put this on your hands? Mm -hmm. I think that's why I threw it away. Mm. Okay. So, don't despair repair. Pretty cool. Um, I've had that before. I thought it was for your hands. Read the back. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so the last thing I have in here is beauty protector. I've gotten something from them before. I think it was like a hair oil or something. Um, Protect and Blonde Toning Shit. How'd you know? Pretty sure you told them. I did not tell them. Like, what if you got that and you had brown hair? You were screwed. You should, that's dumb. You put on your, th no. I said that, I asked if you what, if you put on there. Well you put, there. whenever you take your thing, you say what color hair you have. Well then there you go, that's how but, you know. But they don't know that I just got this done. It needs toned again. It was much blonder when I first got it done. So I talked about this in my last video that just went up, um, like I think I literally posted it yesterday, but um, I just got my hair done on the ends, I made it a little bit more icy on the bot, what? It says it brightens grays and whites. That's what I need, I need this bottom to be white, Amber. We gotta talk. <laughs> um, she's gonna slit my throat. Um, but toning shampoo, if y'all aren't aware, purple shampoos and conditioner if you have like if you want your hair to be more icy and less like yellow if you're blonde purple shampoos and conditioners are the way to go i can't wait to try this 
because I it's literally just like like look how purple it, out. it literally almost looks like blue it's, it's so purple it smells good it's a Birchbox exclusive so that means you can only buy this brand from Birchbox um so protect and blonde toning shampoo the full size is $23 that's not that bad okay so this use this vegan and paraben free cleanser two to three times per week to moisturize blonde strands and amplify cool tones I need that I've had this done for what like almost a month I'd say now maybe not even that but it feels like my yellow tones are starting to come back a little bit and that's not anybody's fault but my own because my hair is so brassy so like it needs to be toned again so I love I love where to go oh it's still in the box <laughs> um, so I love that I got that that's really cool I'm so excited I think that might be my favorite thing in the box honestly my turn your turn my next thing I already took it out of the package she got a brush she got a brush what brand is it crown brush oh I got a crown brush from it's not even a little spot to put my fingers Ooh. inventions I got it. That's what my concealer brush is that I got from Ipsy back 100 years ago was a crown brush. It was a concealer brush. So this is like an ang an angled contouring brush. That's what it's called. I think there's one. So it's soft. That's what I That's cool. I, I like that you got a brush. Unsubscribing. You're unsubscribing? It took, let me tell you. I ordered this in the beginning of August. Did you get put on a wait list? I got put on a wait list because I didn't tweet about how I wanted my Ipsy bag. Listen girl, you should have just tweeted it just to get it quicker. And then they told me, yeah, it'll be here on the 13th of September. That it's was the Tuesday. 17th? That was Tuesday and I just got it today. <laughs> I, I kept texting her like throughout the day, I'd be like, have you got your first, er, Ipsy bag yet? Because nope. I would love to make this, because I got mine. Mine said mine would be here on the 13th, and it got here like a day before, I think. Yeah, Wait a minute. Mine was four days late after I emailed them and told them that I was having trouble with it. The day after I emailed them, I got it. But Did they answer you? Yeah. They were just like, yeah, it should be here tomorrow. I was like, why'd you put the 13th I, in? I do remember the reason I unsubscribed was because, because my Ipsy bag just kept getting lost. Um, my Ipsy bag just kept getting lost. Like They would send it to Lexington by accident. Um, so don't get me wrong, for those of y'all who love, these also, I feel like we should point this out, these are the exact same price. They're both $10, uh, no shipping, no tax, nothing. It's just $10. It comes out of your account automatically on the first of each bag. month. But she gets a bag. I have 8 million bags. Mm -hmm. Literally, my makeup table, I'll, put, I'll take a picture of it and post it in this video too. My whole makeup table is decorated with these boxes. And I actually will use these boxes for like, this comes in handy around Christmas time. That's true. My favorite bag from them literally says, um... It's like a burlap bag that says VIP, very important products. That was my favorite Ipsy bag I ever got. And I still have it. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. So the bag, I think, is functional. A pro for Ipsy would be that uh, the bag is functional. Um, another pro for Ipsy, yeah. yeah. Another pro for Ipsy is I really like the cards. Like, they're things they put on the cards. So two. A con for Ipsy is... Uh, how long, how long it took to get here. On the card that you get, um, you don't immediately know how much each thing was and you don't really get a description of it. You kind of have to go and do the research yourself. I don't like the card that comes with Birchbox. Um, I wish it was a little bit more like, like yours was funny, yours was sassy. I thought it was really cute. Um, I do feel like with my Birch, just if we're just going off of my, this one Birchbox, um, I feel like this one was a little bit more lacking than the ones I've got in the past. Um, I do like the shampoo. I like that. Um, I like the idea behind the highlighter. I'm not crazy about the highlighter. I liked your highlighter better. All in all, I think it. I think it just depends on what you would prefer. Um, like if you think you're gonna use the bags, I think the Ipsy would be the more appropriate way to go. Are you on your phone? I'm sorry. I posted a selfie. The likes a new selfie. I'll post her. Right up here. There's her stuff if you want to go uh, follow her or something. Out of five stars, what would you give your Ipsy experience overall? 3.5. I loved all of the products. The chapstick was weird. I mean, it's not like it wasn't good, but yeah. I mean, you can, I got some chapsticks. 
<laughs> how long it took to get here. Like it just that's your main problem. The butt. And if I order it and I and I just I don't know. Like I just expected it to be there when they said it was gonna be there. Fair, that's a fair assumption. The only itch, issue I have with Ipsy is that I got products that were busted, that were broken, that were missing. Now I can't say anything because I have had um, times where Birchbox, I had products missing from them too, but none of my products have ever been broken from there. I would say I can't really go off of my entire Birchbox experience like you can because I've had it for a really yeah. long time. Just go off this one. Um, so off of just this one, I'm going to give it like a 4.5. Because it got here a day before it was supposed to. I love the shampoo. Really like the microdermabrasion um, scrub. And I really like that they tell me how much oh, each man, product is. <laughs> Why does yawn drill big? I got the ugliest one. Yawn and face too. I hope you enjoyed that. So that's that's why I gave my this birch box a 4.5. Um, like I said, I can't write on all of them because some have been better than others. But for your overall experience, you'd th say 3.5? 3.5, maybe 4. But also, you said you got a brush the very first time you got it and never got another one. Ah, uh, that's a lie. I actually did. I got, I've got. i gotten two brushes but in my entire time. Yes. You had it for um, a while. Yes. I've gotten two I guess brushes. I can't give them to everybody, though. All yeah. The time. But still. Anyway. I feel like it's going to get worse as I go along. So that's what happened to me. Describing. That is all. So that's it. That's all we got. Um, real quick, I'ma I'ma just do a quick shout out. So real quick, I'm gonna do a. Yeah, go get yours. Real quick, um, Cindy went to go get hers, but we're gonna do a quick, quick shout out to um, a group. Like a company that we Etsy, it's an Etsy. I know it's a group that we found. Um, EKU has this thing that they do every year that's called City Fest, and it's where local vendors around Richmond come and um, introduce themselves to the new students at EKU. So there's a group on Etsy, and it's called Hopeless Wanderer. I think so. I believe that's what it's. I'll put their link in the description box down below. And y'all know from one of my previous videos that I love Etsy. I have raved about Run to the Wild forever um so we found this new group called hopeless wanderer and we got these mugs we got these mugs look how cute they are okay mine is orange and in black writing it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus because i'm basic as crap and hocus pocus is the best movie ever. and hocus pocus is seriously the best movie ever um and Sydney's <laughs> is white and says i'd rather be watching gossip girl because who wouldn't? Who wouldn't rather be watching is Gossip the best Girl show ever? And I made her watch it, and she it's, loved it too. I got addicted. Let me just say one thing really quick. Don't Chuck give Bass. Don't give mm. Chuck, Chuck Bass. Chuck Bass. I'm Chuck Bass. I'm Chuck Bass. I'm Chuck Bass. Oh, oh! Deceased. Um. So that's. You did that in my last video too. Anyway, um, that's all we got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more videos with this one in it, uh, click the like button. Let me know. Give her a shout out. Um, I'll put all of her links and stuff for her Instagram and all that in the description box too if you want to go follow her as well. She's a really good painter. And she um, paints things for people. So if you want to check out her Instagram and have her paint something for you, she will do that. How much do you charge? On well, how much do you use on my Twitter? Okay, on her, I'll post her Twitter. So, how much do you charge for like a personalized painting? Ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen. How hard it is. She's really good. I would definitely check out her Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video, which hopefully will be soon. I apologize for the all for the randomness of the videos here lately. It's been a really crazy couple of months. So, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.